a presentation on telecommuting, expectations, environment, and support by Dr. Richard J. Sands. The topics covered today are introduction, keys to success, advantages, disadvantages, telecommuter tips, and then we will wrap it up with a conclusion. Telecommuting is not a new fad or way of conducting business. Telecommuting has been around for many years but is becoming more prevalent with the advances in technology, increased access to talent, proven increased productivity and work-life balance. With organizations increasingly instituting telecommuting as a way to do business, it is imperative to identify and train managers and supervisors, leaders, with the skills required to effectively lead staff in these online groupings. A heightened sense of trust is essential between staff, manager and the organization to ensure all the necessary needs are met in creating the optimum telecommuting relationship. Telecommuting is not a one-size-fits-all endeavor for both the employer and employee. Now let's discuss expectations, environment, and support. Expectations of telecommuter are the roles of engagement the employer and department manager expect of the telecommuter to adhere to. These vary from department to department in the manager's philosophy. Expectations, boundaries, and productivity. This list is not meant to be all-inclusive. Rather, to spawn the thought process of what to be mindful of, and to spur conversation with your manager. Telecommuter environment refers to what makes telecommuting a sustainable and viable method to perform job responsibilities. Environment Being a telecommuter brings on a new dimension to your workday. This list is not all inclusive of what or how you will manage your workday. The combination is personal in what makes your perfect and productive environment. Support is the foundation set forth by the organization and implemented and maintained by management and direct supervisors. Support. This section could be broken down further into three segments, infrastructure, policies slash procedures, and leadership. This list, and on the next page, is not meant to be all-inclusive, but to touch on a few key points in breaking support down. Support continued. Infrastructure refers to technology, hardware and software which enables the telecommuting. PNPs are the clue that holds the company, telecommuter and manager together. Leadership is responsible to ensure it all works as designed. Now let's discuss advantages, disadvantages, and tips for telecommuters. Advantages for telecommuters. According to a recent Microsoft survey, here are their top 10 results, which is consistent with other data. And of course, your personal advantages might vary. Number four is often questioned. However, studies have validated it. Disadvantages. People think this is going to be great. However, blurring the lines between work and home can pose challenges. The feeling of isolation can set in, working alone daily. Days can run together, because of not holding to a structured schedule. Telecommuter tips are not a one-size-fits-all, as we previously mentioned. Discussed here address the most common issues telecommuters experience. Combating the feeling of isolation, productivity and workspace. Feeling isolated. There are no annoying co-workers snapping gum in your ear, but then again, there are no co-workers at all, which can lead to loneliness and isolation. We will discuss several tips to avoid feeling isolated. Play hooky. If you've checked enough tasks off your list, and it's early, why not visit a park or take a walk? Flexibility and quality of life are probably why you chose to telecommute in the first place, so, don't deny yourself the ability to have some fun. A local coffee shop. Even interactions with those on our social periphery can have a positive emotional effect on us. Order a coffee or share an outlet 
counts as socializing. Find different places where you can work, a cafe, library or with a friend. Go to a gym. Working out also keeps your brain fit, fending off anxiety and depression, sharpening concentration and boosting creativity. It's tempting to just roll out of bed and get to work, make time to join an exercise class, or run regularly with a friend. Reward yourself. Work in 25-minute chunks with 5-minute breaks. Or, allow yourself a treat, even if it's doing a load of laundry, only after you've completed a work-related task. Checking items off of your to-do list provides a sense of accomplishment. Set a routine. Without one, you're forced to motivate yourself. Set hours for your work-from-home day, including lunch and breaks. A schedule also ensures you quit working at a certain point, because telecommuting can sometimes feel like you're never off. Even though studies have proven, telecommuting to be one of the best ways to work productively, there are times when the, couch, snacks, and Netflix are calling your name. Here are 5 productivity tips for telecommuters to be as efficient as possible. Designated Workspace Start each work from home day, the way you would a work from the office day. Get out of bed at a set time, change clothes and, commute, to a designated workspace, a private home office, the dining room table, even a kitchen island. Clearly defined goals. Establishing benchmarks, is complementary to staying focused on any job, but, they're practically, mandatory, if you want to remain on task remotely. Establish a routine. Do you like to start out slow by catching up on emails and tying loose ends, or are you an early bird who likes to crank out crucial tasks first? Figure out your modus operandi and embrace it. Enjoy disruptions. While some remote workers avoid personal visits during the workday, others take the opposite tack. Being home alone day in and day out can be demoralizing. Distractions like the TV, pets and the occasional visit can be stimulating. Take numerous breaks. If you were in the office, you'd, hopefully, take a lunch break, walk across the street for a fresh cup of java and catch up with colleagues in the break room. Periodic short breaks are also important when your office is in your house. Telecommuter Tips, Workspace There are numerous possible combinations of tips to offer the telecommuter, however, here are the top 5 to consider. Design your workspace, ditch your wires, keeping it comfy, closing up shop, and, get childcare. Build it. This may be the best and most exciting part, because, you get to choose how you want it to look and feel. Try and go with an area of your house that's somewhat cut off from the main areas, this way, you minimize outside distractions. Comfy, comfy. Ditch the wires. Cables can create a lot of under desk clutter. So opt for wireless keyboards and mice, which will cut down on the extra cables, and offer the added benefit of being portable should you decide to work outside of your home office. Cool it now. When you worked in an office, you didn't think about how hot or cold it was. Now that you're working from home, heating up your home office, and the entire house, or running the central air is going to cost. Try using space heaters and fans. Shut it down. To get the most out of your equipment, power it down every night when you're done working. Not only will shutting off your equipment help you to disconnect from work, you'll give your computer a longer life, and save on your electric bill. Get childcare. Working from home is not a substitute for childcare. You need to make sure you can work rather than care for the children. Conclusion. Not everyone is cut out for telecommuting. It takes self-motivation and dedication. Many people simply can't handle a kitchen full of snacks or laundry begging to be done. However, embracing these key points should provide you valuable insights.